Well, hello everybody. I'm Pastor Sean. Today's word for the day is in Exodus 2, verses 21 through 22. Our star, Moses, has found himself on the run. And if you've been following along in the story, he's just helped some young women in a foreign country. After helping the young woman, he, he meets their father. And that's where we start off this verse, chapter, verse 21 through 22, which says this. Moses agreed to stay with the man who gave his daughter Zipporah to Moses in marriage. Zipporah gave birth to a son, and Moses named him Gershom, saying, I have become a foreigner in a foreign land. A little bit of a time skip here, but what we find is that Moses was just removed from the plush life and familiar land of Egypt, and he finds himself in a strange land with strange people. Without knowing the plan God has for his life, he creates a life for himself in this foreign land he's been thrown into. He grows roots where God has planted him. My thoughts for today's passage really land on one question. Are you growing roots where God has planted you? My wife and I grew up in Thousand Oaks, California for 28 years of our life. But almost two years ago now, God made it extremely obvious it was time to go and grow. We didn't know God's exact plan for our lives, but we knew where God was bringing us. He brought us from the familiarity of California to the foreign land of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And while we're here, we're doing our best to trust God and plant roots. We get to create friendships, grow our family, possibly even buy a house if the market ever drops. But the most important root of all, we have the best opportunity here to get connected to the ministry of the gospel right here in Havasu. So, if God has you here, or anywhere for that matter, then you better be asking yourself, are you planting roots where God has you? Here's the deal. God wants each and every one of us to produce spiritual fruits wherever He has us. And think of it like missionary work. If you go somewhere to share the life-changing gospel, you better understand and be a part of that culture that you're in. Here's why, though. Nothing and no one can produce healthy, life-giving fruit if they have an unhealthy root system. So today, I want to give you some thought. Are you making relationships where you're at? Are you growing your family? Are you seeking the best for your community? And most importantly, are you getting involved in the life-changing gospel mission happening right where you're at? If you find yourself with weak roots and a lack of fruit in your life, then maybe you need to get involved with a local ministry. If I can be biased for just a second, children's and youth ministry are two pretty epic ministries to get involved in. Anyways, I'll end on this. If Moses never grew his roots, the story God had for his life may have never been how it was. But what we find out is that God used him exactly where he was to become an extremely important biblical figure and literally change the life of millions of people. So if you are seeking God's will for your life, then trust that he has you where you are for a purpose. And if he wants to uproot you and plant you somewhere else, he'll make that obvious. So while he has you here, grow some roots. Be blessed, Calvary. Have a great day.